So I was talking to my mom and I found out my niece is a substitute teacher. And so I asked my mom if she had a four year degree. They live on the East Coast, so we're not in that much contact. We talk every now and again, but I don't know everything that's going on with my niece, but she's a substitute teacher. And so I asked my mom if she had a bachelor's degree and my mom said, no, she has an associate's. So then I said, apparently, you only need an associate's to be a substitute teacher because I think to be an actual, like a full-time teacher, you have to have a bachelor's degree. And then we started talking about how that doesn't make any sense that you have to have a bachelor's degree to be a teacher because there are plenty of bad teachers out there who have intelligence but don't have any common sense or wisdom. And common sense and wisdom, I think, are, are more important if you're going to have a mentor, if you're going to have a teacher, you want somebody who has the wisdom, who doesn't have to have paperwork, doesn't have to have credentials, doesn't have to have credibility. If they have wisdom and they know how life works and they understand how life works, they understand how the game is played, they understand what you need to know, and it's not always necessarily knowledge. Sometimes you can have all the knowledge in the world, but you don't get anywhere. Sometimes you can have all the talent in the world, and you don't get anywhere. Because there's a lot more to life than just knowledge, information. You could have all the information, like I said. You could be great at memorization. You could, you know, know the whole dictionary. Have, you know, everything memorized. But that does not mean success or happiness. And so, that's why I think it's more important to be taught by somebody who has wisdom, who understands things, who is aware of the way the world works, of the way emotions work, of the way, you know, social interactions work. They know the way how to cope with everyday life. Because knowledge doesn't mean that you can cope with everyday life. You need wisdom for that. You need common sense for that. There's plenty of people with bachelor's degree that don't have a job. Living with their parents again. Because that piece of paper doesn't necessarily mean much. So, And these are the people that are teaching the children. So obviously there are you know, people with bachelor's degree that have common sense and wisdom I'm just saying there's not a correlation between the two it doesn't necessarily mean because you have knowledge that you have wisdom so basically what I'm trying to say is a great person that you should probably listen to is Jordan Peterson because he has both he has credibility he has credentials he has the paperwork he's a clinical psychologist and he has wisdom, and he has understanding, and he has awareness of how the world works, and what's going on in our world, and, and, and the problems that we are facing, and the reason we are facing those problems. That's the type of person we need to be teachers. That's the type of people you need to listen to. That's the type of people that should be in these positions to teach people. They should be in these positions. That's what it should be based on actually. It should be based on wisdom and common sense. It shouldn't be based on a piece of paper. It just seems, oh you spent a lot of money so there you go. <laughs> you could teach the kids. You could do this, you could do that. Spend all this money and then, and then we'll allow you to teach kids. Then we'll allow you to do this, to do that. That doesn't make any sense. A person without that piece of paper can be way more successful. I mean, there's plenty of people who dropped out of college and are extremely successful. Some of the most successful people in the world 
dropped out of college or didn't go to college, dropped out of high school. So, like I said, when you make your choice of the people to listen to, whether on the news, TV, teachers, mentors, don't base it all on a piece of paper or multiple pieces of papers on the wall. Base it on the track record. Base it on their life and how they live. And if they're happy, if they're aware, if they have wisdom, if they have common sense, if they know how to cope with life. Because that is what's going to keep you going, keep you happy. So check out Jordan Peterson. You may or may not like him, but the type of person that I think should be teaching people. Take care, have a good night, and God bless.